Hey there, Foundation staff. I get this question about how do you write SCPs a lot in the comments, and so I'm starting a series. SCP writing tips from SCP writers. My credentials for giving you guys advice? First, I am the Sherm on the SCP Wiki. I've written five SCP articles or tales. I also enlist aid from the SCP authors who frequent the Site42 Discord server, so you'll be getting advice from me as well as authors who are probably more accomplished than I am. So make sure you're following us to get as many tips as we put out. SCP writing tips from SCP writers. Objects and narrative. On the current SCP Wiki in 2020, it is not enough to just have an idea for a spooky monster or a spooky object. You also have to be telling some kind of story. As an example, we have SCP-3041, the Red Knife. The knife is anti-memetic, and when you kill someone with it, they disappear from the collective memory of humanity, so their body still exists and is rotting and everyone can smell it, but they can't see or interact with it, and no one knows it's there. That's pretty creepy on its own. But the story is a story of the SCP Foundation testing this thing again and again because they it seems like nothing's happening. And they waste endless resources and human personnel, both researchers and D-Class, trying to figure out what this thing does before the O5 Council cuts off their research. Object. Narrative. SCP writing tips from SCP writers. Current standards. I'm not here to get into a debate about whether Series 1 is better than Series 6, or why Series 4 is the objectively best series you can fight me. What's important here is that you are writing for the current iteration of the wiki with the current user base. And if you want your article to survive, you can make the best art you can make, but if you make it for an audience that doesn't want it, it's not going to matter. So make sure that you read a whole lot of Series 6, maybe get into Series 5, Series 4 the best series, read them all, and see what you can do to craft your story in the vein that the current voting populace will upvote. SCP Writing Tips from SCP Writers, Part 1, Getting Critique. So you have a finished SCP article, you've done all your spell checks and the story checks out, now you need some people to look at it. Every article that gets up on the wiki has an average of three to five people who read it and said, okay, I give this a go ahead. Number one, I would check out the SCP Drafts Forum. Remember that the critique team gets a lot of articles, so they may only check you out once and it may take them a little bit. If you want more help quicker, I would check out Discord servers like the Site42 Discord server, the SCP Declassified server, are both good ones where SCP authors hang out, and you can make friends with them, you can give them critique as well, and they will trade back with you, and the community will flourish, and you will get the critique you need. See you later. SCP Writing Tips from SCP Writers, Part 2, Choosing Your Critiquers. So, you've got an SCP article set, you have a couple of people who may or may not critique your article, who do you want to critique it? Well. People with good spelling and grammar is a good help. People who have written SCP articles is even better. Also consider the flavor of your story versus the critiquer you're giving it to. If someone hates meta articles, bar rah rah, they're probably not going to give you the best advice on your meta article. So think about who you're getting critique from. Make sure you get various viewpoints. Again, the average is three to five sets of go ahead before it goes on the wiki, and you will have an easier time improving your article. Okay, let's just ignore the fact that there's two of me. SCP writing tips from SCP writers, so you'll want to be a badass. New SCP writers give us drafts all the time that have their god of hyperdeath, who's so badass, but he's a very eloquent speaker who wants to work with the Foundation. And it's kind of gotten to the point where we SCP authors kind of joke about it. But, that, I mean, it's not like there's not those on the wiki in the first place. We already have 076-343-682. The thing is, as time has gone on, we don't need any more of those. We need new ideas. Like 2662. The story isn't about how badass he is. It's about how annoying being a badass like a Cthulhu is because you have all these cultists interrupting your days with their blood orgies. <laughs> Who needs that? Long story short, don't just make a badass. Give us an interesting story about the badass. SCP writing tips from SCP writers. Listening to critique. I could make a million different videos about listening to critique in its various forms, but today I just want the general sentiment of you asked a person to critique your article, now you have to listen to what they said. Sometimes the response to critique is, oh no, my article's perfect, and I just wanted you to say it's okay so I can post it. No! Hopefully this critiquer you're talking to is someone you respect the opinion of, otherwise you wouldn't have asked them. And yes, you can go get a second opinion if maybe you think they're wrong, but if that person agrees too, it looks like your article needs some work. And that's fine. 
Articles go through numerous drafts. You gotta keep reworking it until all the pieces fit together and all the people understand and enjoy the article so that it survives on the wiki. Good luck. People have anxiety about writing their first SCP because they're worried about it coming out badly. So I don't know who needs to hear this, but there is no such thing as a natural talent. Only people who started something at such a young age that they got the hours of practice in to make it seem natural. I used to be the worst dancer in my show choir. Terrible. Two years of training later, and I am a professional ballroom dance instructor. Been teaching for 13 years, blah, 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 blah. I learned in theater college, regarding auditions, anything you want to be good at, you can't be afraid to look silly because you need to fall in love with failure. You will not be good at something until you failed at it hundreds of times. Learning to dance, writing an SCP, any skill, as our Lord and Savior Shia LaBeouf says, JUST DO IT! SCP Writing Tips from SCP Writers I don't understand X. You're getting critique, and your critiquer says, I don't understand X. 75% of the time, the new author is going to respond, Oh, well, this is A, B, C, and D. And the critiquer, 90% of the time, is going to reply, Why isn't A, B, C, and D inside the story? It's easy when you're writing your story from your perspective in your mind to know all the facts, but not get them all down so that the audience can get them. And even though on the wiki we're allowed to use other articles to spruce up our stories, you still need to make sure that every detail your reader needs to know is inside the story that you wrote, otherwise they're not going to understand it and they're probably not going to upvote. First of all, aw, I'm flattered you want to, so thanks. Second, in the SCP canon, there is no canon. So technical answer, you can do whatever you want and you can write them however you want because that's how it is. You can write whatever you want for Dr. Sherman. Now third, in my skits, Dr. Sherman's a little bit of everything because he's whatever OC I need to make the skit funny. Sometimes he's a straight man, sometimes he's the weird guy. And so I have a funny headcanon that maybe I'll write into an SCP one day if it's not too indulgent. But there is a Site 42 where everyone in that site is Dr. Sherman. So they're Sherman agents, they're Sherman D-class, they're Sherman researchers. Because if a non-Sherman shows up on the site and makes human contact with one of the Shermans, they turn into a Sherman. And so when I write it, the story's about how awkward it is that everyone's the same guy with the same knowledge and stuff like that. Happy writing. Last time you asked me about SCP containment classes, I told you about the big three. Safe, Euclid, Keter. The main, most common versions. Now today we're talking about a little bit more of a rare one, Thaumiel. Thaumiel is an SCP class where the SCP contains other SCPs. If a safe SCP stays in its box, a Euclid may or may not get out, and a Keter will DEFINITELY get out, Thaumiels are itself the box. They help contain other SCPs. Beneficial, huh? What is the Apollyon object class? When it was originally introduced in SCP-2317, written by Dr. Clef, this was meant to be a surprise and a wake-up call to the reader. What is Apollyon? Why is something above Keter? Why are the O5s hiding something from the rank-and-file members of the Foundation? This is crazy. Now since then, Dr. Clef has removed Apollyon from that article because it started being used in ways that weren't exactly what he intended. And so while Keter itself can be a world-ending threat, heck, some safes can be world-ending threats, Apollyon seems to mean on the wiki right now things that are universally world-ending and also are probably already happening. In Shaggy Dreadlocks' 001 proposal when day breaks, all of humanity has been melted, and so Apollyon. In SCP-3999, we have a reality bender resetting the universe to destroy it again and again. Apollyon. Oh, I can cover it, but I don't think you're going to get the answer you're looking for. SCP-682 can't be killed. Full stop, SCP-682 can't be killed. The reason is, it's not artistically interesting to kill 682. The thing that's interesting about 682 as a writer is being able to come up with all the cockamamie ideas about how it survives. We launched it into the sun! Well, it grew solar sails and flew back, so deal with it. Let's take this from another perspective. In One Punch Man, Saitama is not going to get his big fight that makes him challenge because he's One Punch Man. He one punches. What's interesting about Saitama 
is how he deals with the depression of not getting that fight, about how he finds wholeness in his friends and his life without that one thing. Saitama won't get that big fight, and 682 won't be killed.